I'm gonna try something, man. I, I, I'm so confident that these ribs so tender that I can just cut it with a plastic spoon, man. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, taking a bath in the bathroom is on the place where you can place your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews, also some tutorials. If you want to support the channel, go to check out my ebook, bang, www.themanisetthemselfonfire.com. All right, guys, now I want to go ahead and show you step by step. Well, not really step by step, but I want to show you exactly how much food you can cook on this wood pellet grill. Now, this is a tech channel. Every now and then, I, I, I throw in some cooking videos or whatever because a lot of my subscribers enjoyed it. But most of my cooking is done with technology, an air fryer, something like that. This wood pellet grill guys is technology it have bluetooth built into it where i can basically monitor my temperature and everything directly from an app i can set um alarms and everything from my app technology make our life easier and this is what the channel is all about guys so enough of me talking let me go ahead and let me show you how i put this big real buy on there some barbecue wings what else i did oh yeah macaroni from scratch macaroni and cheese from scratch with bacon bits guys look so excited about this and you know you gotta have hamburger patties let's get into it all right guys i know i said no more cooking videos until the kitchen finished getting remodeled but uh the rain held off and so i want to do a smoke today and i want to show you guys uh exactly what i'm going to do so this is uh pork ribs you can see it's st louis style uh, this is uh, beef. This is U.S. choice. This is the ribeye uh, roast. So, gonna have to get this big piece of meat on there early. Probably do some hamburger patties for the wife. Do some smoked chicken wings. And what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make some bacon and macaroni and cheese. All right. So some of the ingredients that I'm working with. Now, the first thing I want to do, of course, I want to season my. Uh, my beef ribs and my pork ribs. Now, I'm just gonna go with salt and pepper. I'm looking for kosher salt. I'm gonna use some sea salt and see how that holds up. This is a big, big piece of meat, guys. And so we wanna make sure that we season this really, really well. Uh, I'm probably gonna bronze those um, chicken wings and probably some um, salt water, something like that. Uh, I may be some tonic season. Let it sit up there for a while. And this is gonna be my spritz, all right? Just to make sure that I'm getting a nice bark. Now, the beef gonna go in there first because of the pork ribs. It's going to cook a little faster. So this probably be like about a four to five hour smoke. And this probably be probably about an eight hour smoke, all right? So this be done probably around seven. It's 11 o'clock right now. But it just depends how fast I cook it, all right? We'll see, we'll see. All right, let's get to work. I'm gonna show you bits and pieces as I go. First thing you wanna do, you wanna examine your meat. So you can see that this is the bone right here. You can see they have it tied down to the meat because if it's not tied down, I think you're just cooking this big roast, right? But this is the rib, right? So we're going to leave it tied. And I'm looking at the marble, right? And how much fat this has. Now, this is hard fat. This fat is not going to render. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim that. Then we're going to season it up. And I'm going to put my binder on there. I love this um, jalapeno mustard as a binder. Then we're going to season it up. So we got this season. Now I had to cut the string and I had to restrain it just so I can work around the meat. Again, this is a big piece of meat, guys. So I had to put ample season on here. This ribeye um, is going to come out beautiful. Now here's the trick, guys. We got to introduce flavor to it. In order to get flavor into this big piece of meat, not only do I have to put a whole bunch of season on the outside, you can see it starts to soak that season up. But when I wrap it, I'm gonna have to introduce another flavor profile because this meat is so thick, it's hard to get seasoned through and through. So I'm gonna have to keep introducing season to it while I'm spritzing it. Um, and when I wrap it, I'm gonna have to introduce more season. Now, I um, went ahead and I put the binder on the uh, pork ribs right here. Now, the cartilage on the back, guys, sometimes it's hard to take it off. But if you ever struggle, like, you can use, like, a butter knife or paper towels. But sometimes, you, you know, you don't have the time. What you can do, you can cut little slits in it and make, like, little squares. That way, you cut it into it, you can get season on there. And when they bite into it, um, it's cut so fine, they're not going to taste it, really. All right? So, I'm going to go ahead and season this up. 
and we'll be good. Some good looking meat right there, man. Let's go ahead and let this sit for a second. I'm going to go ahead and set my temp to 275. Now, that's higher than I usually cook, but I wanted to get this ribeye done, all right? So, what I did was I took and I put my pork towards the edge of the grill. That is going to be the coldest part, all right? And I went ahead and I took the ribeye and I put it close to my fire pit. I don't want to put it directly on my fire pit, um, but I put it close to my fire pit because uh, we're going to try to do a faster cook. I ain't going to say a fast cook, a faster cook, all right? Let's go ahead and get started, man. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half, so we way early in this smoke. I just want to touch that bark and see, you know, what's going on. You can see it's still really, really wet, not really farming a bark. So I don't know what's going on, on this side right here. This side seems to be forming a better bark right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spritz it just to fuse that flavor on there, like I was telling you guys. big big piece of meat right so I don't want it to dry out but I still want that bark to set too so all right so we'll be back hey guys I'm going ahead and I'm starting my bacon it's 433 I'm starting my bacon for my macaroni and cheese I'm gonna get that nice and crisp down look how thick those bacon slices are guys then I'm just gonna cut them into some little bits and uh what we're gonna do we're gonna take that we're gonna boil the water for our elbow noodle. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our cream and cheese sauce. Then we're we'll come over here, we're gonna put it in the Dutch oven and put it right in the oven, the convection oven, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna let our chicken wings just soak up in here. Oh man, now, this is a mixture of basically salt, pepper, um, a little ton of season. We got it going on up in there. So we're just gonna fuse that flavor in there. Then we're gonna take it out, we're gonna season it. Eat it with some salt and pepper. We're gonna put some of the Louisiana Tony on there. All right, so I got the noodles going. I don't wanna cook my noodles all, all the way. I want them cooked to where they just about done. And the reason why I need my noodles to be a little stiff so they can hold up to the cook in the oven. Um, and so that way they're not all soggy and stuff whenever I go ahead and make my cheese So I'm about to make my cheese right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take half of this and put it into there I already built it a half a stick of butter and I have my bacon chopped up And I got my cheeses right here guys my different type of cheeses. I'm going to put in there. All right Let's do it All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start it off with the Velveeta and then I'm just gonna start mixing all of the cheeses into it. Add a little flavor to it. We're gonna go like that, baby. All right, guys, so do the bark test. You see that? That means that bark is set. Got a little pooling on there, but it's time to wrap it. Let's go ahead and see right here. This bark is not set yet. But what y'all know about that big old, big old ribeye? Look at that, man. That's looking nice right there, guys. So I'm probably gonna spritz this again I like that I like that so the bark yeah I say it wasn't set but the bark is setting so probably about an hour before I wrap that and then I'm gonna turn the heat up because I still got to put the wings and the burgers and stuff on here but yeah I say wings all right but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these ribs right quick guys these um pork ribs all right there we go got that wrap I turn that on the side just to Get some little grill marks right there on there. I really don't like messing with it, but that bark starting to set, so I know that it can take it can take that little switch of root. All right, guys. So I'm not gonna wrap this. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn up the heat and I'm gonna move it off to the side. Um, ribs right here, guys. They they going. I'm not gonna wrap this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken wings on here. I'm probably gonna sear it. I don't know if I'm going to sear it on here or bring it in the house and sear it because it's been rendering a lot of fat and when you crank this up, I don't want to start a fire. Then the fire is going to have it, that, that charred taste to it. Um, but we'll find out, man. We'll find out. You know, I like mine's medium rare anyway. So I'm about to put the probe in there, crank this up to 350. I'm going to put the chicken wings on here. I'm going to have to crank the fire up for the hamburger patty that's going to be last. But um, 
Yeah, guys, we're getting close. That thing is looking better and better and better, guys. Look, you just need time, man. You just need time. All right, so what I'm about to do now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna unwrap my ribs, and then I'm just gonna mop it, right? Just put my sauce and I'm gonna put it to the hottest part. You can tell what I did was because all of that fat was rendering down on my aluminum fall, and I know that I had to come and put those patties on there to keep a grease fire from starting, guys. I went ahead and I just removed the, the fall, right? With all of that burnt rendered fat, that can help me manage my, my fire. It's all about thinking ahead. Go ahead and unwrap that. Oh, those ribs look good, man. You can see, you can see how tender that is. Those ribs look, look fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and get the mopping, get it out the fall and get it on the grill. All right, so instead of using a half a pint, I went ahead and I used the whole pint. Cause we do have quite a bit of um, noodles. All right, so basically you just want to bring this to a simmer when the cheese starts to melt. Look at your thickness. So that's about ready to pour. So I'm gonna transfer my noodles up in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take one container of the bacon, just throw it up and I'm gonna mix it up. Then I'm gonna pour my cheese in there, I'm gonna throw the other bacon up in there. Make sure that you just grouping up and under. Tucking all the goodness in there. And you're gonna repeat this process as you pour the cheese sauce in there. Get that all over it, right? And look, if you think you need to make more sauce, don't be afraid to make more sauce. I mean, this is for you. The way I'm doing it, because it's going in the dust oven, I'm gonna put the lid on there. There's gonna be some moisture, right? So just be aware of that also. Let's go ahead and put that other bacon up in there. I'm gonna throw some mozzarella cheese on top, put it in the oven, got the oven set, preheating up to about 280. Pretty much done right there. So I went ahead and I put some uh, mozzarella cheese on the top, and also some of the jalapeno cheese, and a couple of um, scores of Valveda. Now what this is gonna do, this is gonna bubble up as it cooks. I'm gonna put it in there with the lid on in the oven, and then when the other food gets done, I'm gonna crank the heat up and take the lid off to kind of like give it a little color. The one thing you want to make sure is when you're stirring it, you want to make sure that every last apple noodle has touched that sauce. You want to make sure that you keep turning it over and over and over. Look, we like our ribs tender, but there is a such thing as making it too tender. You know, you got to be able to take it off, man. And look at that, man. Look at, oh, look how tender that is, man. So it's going to be a good eat, but I, I, I like to keep my ribs together, all together, so I can put it on my cutting board, man. I don't like it falling apart on me, on my grill, so. Um, we're gonna watch that next time, but trust me, it's gonna be a fantastic grill. All right, guys, we got my knife out here, ready to cut the ribs. But I'm gonna try something, man. I, I, I'm so confident that these ribs so tender that I can just cut it with a plastic spoon, man. Look at that right there. Look, cutting the ribs, plastic spoon. Scoop that meat off of them, man. Somebody come by, and it be like. We want the ribs to be tender. I'm gonna say, this tender enough for you? Right off the bone. Look at that smoke ring up and up, man. Let's see if we can get a good look at this, man. This flavor profile. Oh man, that looks so good. Tastes even better. Huh? Can I cook a good rib or what, man? Can I cook a good rib or what, man? All right, guys, we're coming down to it. Go ahead and mop these chicken wings up. Throw the patties on there. He's there right there, guys. He's there right there. All right, guys, got everything off. I'm a little nervous about this big rib by rib, man. Uh, Go ahead and cut, cut it loose. Right, put it against the grain. Oh my goodness. Oh my, man, look at that right there, man. Man, that's what is in the water park right there, man. Look at that right there, man. Cook through and through. See that bark at the top, man? Oh, man. See that smoke ring? See that smoke ring coming through there? Oh my goodness, man. 
Oh my goodness, man. Look at that right there. Y'all already seen the ribs, man. Hold on, I ain't done, I ain't done. I ain't done yet, hold on. Timber. Show y'all some pause it. Come on, man. Oh, I ain't done, man. I ain't done. Oh, there you have it, man. Baked macaroni in the Dutch oven with bacon in there. Big old smoked bacon up in there. Oh, man. Man, look at this meal, man. Look at this, this boy. This boy right here. This boy right here. Look at the, look at the bacon, man. Look at the bacon, man. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. How cheesy this is. Don't go nowhere. How cheesy that is, man. How cheesy that is, man. Whew. Man. That boy did that. Taste that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Get you a little barbecue sauce to dip it. To compliment that little salt and pepper. You go to go. There you have it, man. I did the thing. All right, guys. So there you have it. Um, all together, it's about a six and a half hour cook. Now, here's one of the things I regretted. I cooked the roast well done. Now, trust me, when my wife, my kids, they like it that way. I'm self for my youngest. He, he like his like mine. We like ourselves to be um, rare or medium rare definitely a learning process I'm, I'm fairly new to the smoking game but i love my grill because it have all of that technology integrated into that that grill god that pellet grill it feeds those pellets it keep your temp exactly how you set it and with that bluetooth option and the probe you can monitor your temperature of your meat you can set alarms you can monitor the temperature of your grill everything from the app guys so that's another cooking video man i was pretty proud of that mac and bacon uh macaroni and cheese with bacon it's your boy taking the bath until next time peace don't forget to subscribe 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 how many other tech guys you know can make ribs you can cut with a plastic spoon ain't nobody doing it like me baby ain't nobody doing it like me don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos